Jay McCarthy of Liverpool, his fellow super weight Martin Shaw from Rotherham. Yeah, um, Jay McCarthy, one of Reese's previous opponents, so I know him very well. You know, he's never in a boring fight. Uh, I watched a lot of him previously, uh, previously fighting Reese, and he uh, definitely always comes to try and put on a show and uh, doesn't doesn't know how to go backwards. Yeah. One of those guys who's happy to fight in the home corner or on the road, and tonight he is in the home corner. Absolutely, yeah. And so I'm expecting a. Uh, Expecting fireworks from him tonight, you know, as I mentioned, he doesn't come to uh, take a step back. Talking of the three-year the three -year layoff, Mike McKay earlier, uh, I think Martin Shaw returned in July after nearly nine years out. Definitely, yeah, we're hoping the, uh, the ring rust comes off for him, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. He's done okay since he's, he's come back, he's three points losses and uh, drawn his last two fights in the away from him. Working in the away corner, you really you can't ask for better than really. Jay starting well, moving his head well, doing some good work to the body. By yeah. Jay, he's just you know, he's definitely dictating the pace. He's just got to be careful not to. Uh, looks like the crowd will get behind him. He's got quite a few people here, and I don't want to uh, get dragged into uh, putting on a show. I was going to say, he looks like he was in the in the neutral corner. And he was getting carried away after he landed that that left. Absolutely. when Reese beat him at the um, AJ Bell Stadium, wasn't it? I mean, a lot of people, that was a fight they were looking forward to that night. Absolutely, but, but yeah. Reese won well that night, didn't he? Yeah, I think, um, I think Jay shocked him. He came at the first round like he came out today, you know, like a raging bull, <laughs> to quote the, uh, the cliche, but flew out of the corner and I think it, um, I had a good chat with Reese at the, uh, at the break and he, uh, yeah, bo boxed well and it was, uh, like I said, very entertaining fight, even, you know, even being in the corner. by Jay.
down by Jay there. He's coming out like a, like an exercise again for the second round. He's just got to, again, not be careful not to get caught on the counter, really, with the air. He's working well, but very enthusiastic with his shots. I think someone like Jay, but it's fair to say you've got to make him think, otherwise he'll just come out throwing those shots. Absolutely, I totally agree with you on that, Steve. And he's... Uh, He's having it, like I said, he started well, he's having, joy, he's having joy with that jab to the body, but he's just got to be so careful not to, uh, not to get caught on the counter. <laughs> Moves his head very well, Jay, he's just got to be careful to... Um, to do the work afterwards and to really take advantage of what he's doing. encouraging him to, to get back on in the jab and he's doing just that now. yeah take it back and make it you know the simple the simple stuff you need to do you know sit behind that job put the work in and um, just kind of edging this round away from Shaw you know kind of nullify the threat he's trying to come out with now as a trainer yourself I'm sure you try to uh, instill into all your, your pupils should we say that um, the basics can take you all a long, long way. Oh, absolutely. You know, without the fundamentals, you know, you couldn't build a house without foundations. You know, it's, I'm full of analogies on a daily basis, but all my fighters all kind of agree with, but it's imperative, you know. There's no point in being flashy and um, coming to the table with other stuff like that if you haven't got the fundamentals behind you. First to the punch, most of the time. I think there's a, a little bit of a, a bloody mouth for sure now. Yeah, he's definitely making sure work tonight. You know, he's uh, making sure he knows he's here. And Jay's doing very well. He's a uh, very sure performance. Excellent start to the fight for him. here and Shaw's come out pretty busy you know probably it's an attempt to stop McCarthy but he's, uh, he's giving more than as good as he's getting really he started better but McCarthy soon soon in the ascendancy so got to be the thing it's only Martin Shaw's 15th professional fight tonight we had the first fight way back in April 2010 <laughs> that's an incredible start you know it's uh, like you mentioned a nine-year layoff it's that uh, you wouldn't be able to tell you know the ring boss has definitely gone since he's been back with the performances under his belt and he's you know Jay's definitely making it work tonight but you know he still looks strong and still looks tough in there Jay having some success there with his overhand right hand and a couple other shots in there yeah very busy fighter Jay you know and um as I mentioned earlier, I don't think he knows how to take a step back, which is very entertaining for all the fans in here tonight. You know, um, I'm sure he'll feel it in the morning, but, you know, I think he's looking to put it to bed. Excellent right body now. You see 
Jay in this sort of form. It's hard to think he's only on one of his previous five fights. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it, it is without a doubt. You know, he's uh, he's definitely a tough test for Reese. You know, it was um, an excellent learning fight at this stage of his career. You know, like I said, I watched a lot of Jay uh, prior to his fight. He was a late caller, but yeah, I managed to watch a lot of him, and he's um, you know, a, a win, a lose, or a draw. He's uh, he comes in, he's entertaining. His last fight, he went to see, lost on points, he went the six rounds with Kieran Smith, a, a good Scot, a good Scottish fighter. He just moved up to middleweight, and he's a big middleweight as well. Yeah, I mean, he's a uh, testament to his toughness. That exactly, I can't imagine Jay's the kind of guy who turns down a fight. You know, I had he a isn't. Bit, bit of a chat to him after Reece, a fight with Reese, and uh, a really nice bloke outside of the ring, but you know, he's tough as nails inside and outside of it by the sounds of it. Final 10 seconds of round three now. It's like an alarm for Jay, he starts to uh, <laughs> really try and put it to bed again. Final round, what's been an entertaining fight so far? Absolutely, I had no doubt when the first bell went that we were going to get an exciting fight with Jay McCarthy and he's not disappointed. You know, I've got to say, I think watching, like I said, I've watched a lot of Jay and uh, Watch him in this fight, this is definitely the best I've seen in box up to now. I was going to ask, that was going to be one of my next questions to you. He's been, uh, as ever, watching, you know, you most probably, as one of your boxers has fought him and beat him, you most probably watch more of him than most people in boxing. Absolutely, you know, and like, I just, I think this is the best, most assured performance I've seen of him, you know. He's used the crowd well, he's not been overawed, it's been a very controlled performance. I get the impression you're one of these trainers who studies everything about an, an opponent you'll be coming up against even how they tie their shoelaces. Is that harsh or fair? No, I thoroughly agree with that. I think knowledge is power and he's always looking for that advantage all the time, you know. That little nook, that little cranny that you can um, you can take advantage of. You know, you think you've got me down to a tee there, Steve. Excellent uppercut there by Jays. <laughs> Finishing this fight very well. Martin Shaw trying to come back into the fight this round and Jay holding on there a bit. Yeah, again, but a very uh, accomplished, very sensible performance by Jay, holding on when he needs to, obviously, uh, trying to dictate the pace and drag it back to what he wants to do. You know, when he's in the ascendancy, he's throwing shots really well. Nick by Jay's right eye now. Yeah, definitely. I think he'll um, it's been excellent work. I think he'll be glad to see the end of the fight. Yeah, you see, he, he has tired a bit, Jay, in this round, I think. But like we said, I don't know. I don't think he knows how to go backwards. So we are uh, still finishing the fight on the front foot. Josh Well in the corner of Martin Shaw imploring him to come on, sensing a. Uh, there is still some hope. I mean, yeah, like I said, Jay's, you know, Jay Echo shows he's always been in a fight, you know, he's, uh, he comes for a scrap, and uh, so there's always that chance, but, you know, if he sees it out the way he's doing now and boxes well, then... He was hurt by a left of the body, I think, there. Absolutely. Or felt it, anyway. Final 10 seconds, so... Um, Just going to see this fight out, Jay. 
hard fourth round for him, but he's seen it out. Definitely. And done enough. To... Good, good four round of that. Both, play, both played their part. Excellent fight. Uh, yeah, and, um, one of the best fight. Well, for me, the best fight of the night so far. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you all agree, but quite blessed with tonight's boxing action. Let's hear the ball boys, Mars and Shaw, Jim McCarthy. Another hard four contest. After four absorbing rounds of boxing, Star Referee won a license and has scored the contest 39 points to 38 points for Yumana. Aiming from Liverpool, Jim McCarthy! Just one point in it at the end. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot tighter than I expected. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.